um there's people on board already um we're about to have a crazy analysis session hi 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 um okay let's go guys okay 103 let's go um okay what i'm about to show you guys now is obviously a way to predict the market long term right and the reason as to why i felt the need to do this is because in all honesty you get tired of constantly you know going short term on the market especially um when we uh, stuck in seasons where the market is just going to be consolidating for like two weeks if not a week you know you can't really do much especially when you are obviously a scalper but now if you are a long-term trader it's easy for you to actually hold trades because you are certain of where it's gonna go never mind the consolidation you know for a fact that listen this is a let's call it a two minute consolidation this is something that's not going to happen long term so i will be patient enough to hold my trades and guys i actually haven't hosted one session a session for a very long time so i'm very excited to do this one so we have 119 people on board right now um let's do 125 i'll start and let's do 125 you guys can actually tell me what you want me to start analyzing you know i had a lot of people text me um asking me to analyze gbp usd i had people ask me to tell them about nasdaq and this is why i actually posted something this morning that said everyone must sell nasdaq for the first two weeks of may okay let's okay 127 great let's do it um okay so i'm just gonna move my camera guys sorry it's a very informal one okay cool this is my chart okay this is my chart um i'm just gonna read comments i need you guys to tell me what to analyze okay people are asking for nasdaq cool let's do nasdaq it's literally gonna be a very short session guys nasdaq okay this is nasdaq everyone's baby let's check okay i've said to people countless times we need to stop trading on small time frames now you need to stop hopping in and out of the market you're going to be stuck in patterns that you don't understand okay let's wait for it to load we've got 147 people on 150 nice 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 somebody just said it's been long i know guys it's been a very long one but i have something so interesting to share with you guys okay so somebody said i'm actually on gbpusd let's start with gbpusd okay cool so i said um on the last session that we had i said my new trend is analyzing on a monthly chart now and the reason as to why i said this is because it's so much easier for one to actually predict zones of sensitivity on a monthly chart monthly charts are very clean you can spot all the zones there's not a lot of consolidations but if there's one thing i really need you all to pay attention to is wicks right these little legs here these shadows have literally saved me so much in analyzing this monthly chart every little shadow here actually has a story to tell and the first thing that i'll ever do when i come on a monthly chart is to obviously predict past candlestick shadows okay other people actually term them as wicks i don't know if there's another term aside from those two words so these are shadows first thing i do when i get to a monthly chart i fully predict um okay let's not say predict i want to fully understand what this previous candlestick means okay so i'm just gonna zoom it in okay let's go first things first I'm gonna mark these wicks because for me these wicks tell a story and these wicks are being drawn based on past information right remember guys technically past information will help you predict the future you know past information is what's gonna help you predict what the next move is gonna be first thing I do I want to fully understand why these wicks were given birth to at these certain zones I never speak of price not because i don't know price but i just prefer terming it as a zone of sensitivity and the reason for me calling it a zone of sensitivity is because um 
there's a lot of zones where the market will obviously show a bit of sensitivity and it's all based on what happened um during past um information sorry that's broken english i don't even know how to say it properly okay i can see that this past candlestick is obviously red in color which signifies a downtrend okay it's red and then i can see that this week turned here so i marked it and the other week turned here fine so now the next thing that i'm gonna do is after i've predicted this one is to go predict the candlestick that came before that one if you look at this candlestick they had a turn all the way there right they had a turn all the way there but i want you to see how this candlestick and this candlestick basically all closed within the same zone right so if i were to mark that past candlestick if i'm gonna mark it here i'm gonna put a horizontal line there i'm gonna put another horizontal line here right this now means the market was forced to stop at these two positions this week is basically the market saying guys i was forced to come close within this zone right i was forced to come close within this zone so the market could not push further they did push further but the only reason why there's an existence of this week is because the market had a price to respect the market had to do what is called respecting um past information you know whatever was predicted way back in the day now had to be respected so since i've marked these two lines even this little guy here had to now respect what was happening with this candlestick and guys i'm obviously trying to term it as basic as possible this guy was now forced to also close within the zone now this is me saying this is my zone of sensitivity right and now let's study the wicks if this wick pushed all the way down and obviously closed in the zone the fact that we also had a wick push up and come all the way down to close in this zone means that it had to respect whatever was given birth to here and this is why i said guys um we're gonna buy gbp usd long term in fact it bought for a very long time right what happens is every new candlestick that is given birth to in the market has a responsibility of testing a zone. So when this GBP USD was given birth to, it had to move all the way down to respect a zone. Meaning you are given birth to to touch a zone. They moved all the way down to touch a zone and they now had to push all the way up again. And this is when I said, guys, we are now ready to buy GBP USD long term. It's because I was fully aware that the market has hit a zone where two monthly candlestick had retested. In fact, not retested. They were basically trapped within the zone. So now this guy here could not push further. He was also forced to respect whatever was given birth to here. I don't know if you guys are still on track. So now I said to you guys, I fully watch this. I know every monthly candlestick that is given birth to has a responsibility of moving down for a few weeks just to retest a zone that is it giving birth to a wick a shadow okay so now this guy pushed all the way down and then he made his way up and the only reason why he turned here is because of these two guys he pushed all the way up but i want you guys to pay attention to what happened here he could not push further because why of this guy here I don't know if you guys are understanding me. He could not push further because of this guy. So now you can literally buy and sell. Um, you can have one major trend and another major trend within the same month. So you could possibly buy for two weeks and sell for another two weeks. Why? You know for a fact that, listen, I'm just going to watch this thing. Once it hits this, I buy. I'm going to buy all the way there. Once it hits that, I sell. So now let's try to move down um, to a smaller time frame. This is what happened. This was that monthly sell and this is the buy that took place. Now, when you get to this smaller time frame, you want to be very attentive to what type of candlesticks are being given birth to, right? We have zones of sensitivities and we know that a candlestick that will be given birth to on a zone of sensitivity is a reversal candlestick. Now, reversal candlesticks are only given birth to once the monthly candlestick has hit a zone that it also needs to respect. 
I'm seeing you guys giving me likes. I trust you guys fully understand what I'm saying. So the only reason why we have these guys also rejecting and giving birth to weeks is because on the big time frame, the market was forced to now respect what happened here, right? Now, if we're on a weekly, I know for a fact we have two options. We're either going to move all the way down here, come here and reject again and push up. But now this is me saying it's too late to trade now. It's the 30th. And I always tell you guys, first, first 15 days of the month, you don't trade. You watch the candlestick. You have to be very sure what's going to happen to this candlestick. So after those first 15 days, you can now fully predict where the market is going to go to, right? It's the 30th. We're not going to trade now. I'm waiting for the new candlestick to obviously grow. I want to see if it's going to touch the zone. If it touches the zone, I know I'm going to sell. If it moves all the way down, I know this candlestick will only move down to probably touch this week because the market literally gives birth to candlesticks only for them to touch wicks. It's going to get you. It's going to touch a wick. And then I know for a fact that we're going to push up again. But never mind the wick story, guys. Let's fully analyze this trend that took place. I'm just going to delete, um, remove all drawings. And I want to show you guys something very interesting. And this is basically so basic. The market pushed up, it turned, right? So I'm gonna mark this turn. The market pushed up, it turned. I'm gonna mark this turn. And the reason as to why I'm marking these terms is because I wanna see if this was just past information. Um, obviously, you know, repeating itself. And it definitely is, guys. We had a downtrend here. And this is why I said to you guys, these two candlesticks were probably the hardest to trade the market was just pulling back to a zone right and this is the zone that is comfortably sitting at right now i don't know if you guys see it and this is why even this guy couldn't push past it so now if we're saying the market will push up any retest is obviously the market taking a breather right this is the market going to gain strength to give you the original position and remember i once gave out a post where i said guys um we're gonna have very we're gonna have two awkward months for on the market these were pullbacks that were taking place guys the monthly candlestick shows i mean the monthly um time frame will obviously give you a clearer picture so now i am confidently saying we are back to normal trading conditions this guy was literally just retesting the zone he's back to pushing up again I don't know if you guys hear what I'm saying. So let's check NASDAQ. I want to show you why I am saying we're going to sell it for the for two weeks. Um, and I want to clearly explain why this thing sold. And this is why I can also confidently say that, yes, fundamentals do play a very huge part in the Forex market. But guys, these things will only move the market to where it needs to be. I still say technicals are the one so if you can hear me still um don't be afraid my man she might give you a chance request like okay so i'm just waiting for this thing to obviously load um Uh, I'm just waiting for this guy to load. I don't know what's taking so long. I want to show you why Nasdaq sold. It's got nothing to do with fundamentals. It's just a technical move. Okay. Please check US 32. Okay, so this is Nasdaq. We're on the monthly chart. Okay, remember I said, guys, I predict the trend on a monthly chart. So if we're on monthly... Um, I want to show you something. This guy needs to load. US 30 selling to have NAS 100 and got a global one. How? Mm. Okay. Great. But this is not NASDAQ. Oh it it is okay let's just delete this analysis that took place why is nasdaq selling why did nasdaq buy 
Is this the right NASDAQ, guys? True that. Technical analysis one way. Type NAS 100. Oh, NAS 100. NAS 100. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so we have NAS 100 up right now. Yes, this is the right one. Okay. I said... First thing I do, I've got the responsibility of analyzing past candlestick, right? I'm going to put my horizontal lines because I fully want to understand what happened. So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put another one here. Okay, fine. So I can see that this guy obviously couldn't push past this. What was the reason for him not being able to push past this? There's a zone of sensitivity here right so he would have not had any strength to break this zone we can obviously see that that this was a very strong zone it was when it pushed up it retested and obviously had the strength to now push past it but now this guy couldn't push past it because of this zone here and now why did this guy not have the strength to push past um this zone let's go back to analyze more um, wicks for candles right this guy here so i want you to see something these two candlesticks could not push above this zone here and if you look at them correctly they basically close around about the same price it's because they had to respect what was given birth to here we have a very strong zone here but now let's look at this one here i can see that this guy obviously did have strength to push up but he closed very close to this okay but now why is nas 100 currently selling as much as it bought i am now going to pay attention to this guy here i am now going to pay attention to this guy here right if you now go to a small time frame guys the fact that this guy could not even break past whatever was given birth to in the past means that even this guy has to now move all the way down to give birth to a wick and this is why on a daily time frame it looks something like this you see this is a zone that you can obviously only see on a monthly chart it's the birth and the closing of this candlestick we have this right and now why did i say to you guys we're probably going to sell it for the first two for the first two weeks Whatever candlestick is going to be given birth to here will have the responsibility to come back and retest the zone either way. All right. And this is definitely going to take something like two weeks. So this guy has the responsibility to move all the way down here to retest this key level. Once this is done, he can now comfortably give birth to a wick by pushing all the way up. I don't know if you guys are hearing what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys um, hear what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys hear what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys have any questions, right? So first 15 days of the month are literally dedicated to the candle giving birth to a zone. And this is why even here, everyone could comfortably buy. It's because of this guy here. It's because of this guy here, right? If you look at this carefully, this guy here left a wick here for a reason, guys. He was already given birth to a zone that nobody else would probably spot. I mean, we don't have any information down here. I mean, on this side. So he was already giving existence to something. So now these guys, if you look at this candlestick, they even had to respect a zone here. Even this guy could push all the way up. But look at where he closed. He definitely had to pay a lot of respect to the zone here and then what happened this one managed to break but even this guy when he was born had the responsibility of coming back to touch a zone what happened when he got here he had to respect his own this is why these ones whoever sets a trend now gives the rest a responsibility to obey to what he has said i don't know if you guys are hearing what i'm saying i don't know if you guys are hearing what i'm saying right so now even this guy here will definitely have to move all the way down here. If he doesn't do it today, trust you me, the next candlestick will have to come respect this. And now let's move to weekly. 
if I am now already seeing a rejection candle at this zone, then I'm definitely going to say to you guys, I mean, this is a rejection candle that has already been given birth to at a zone of sensitivity. You cannot fight it. The only thing I can definitely fight is the fact that this guy closed above that zone. And the fact that even this guy did not have strength to bring his body all the way in here. But now it's still very early to tell because if we do close below here, guys, today, you can comfortably sell this thing all the way down here. This is my two cents. Um, you've been very... Oh my word. Anonymous, you, you're taking this a bit too serious, sir. You're taking this a bit too serious. So, um, that's exactly what I mean. A strong reversal candlestick given birth to a zone of sensitivity. This could be the market saying, listen, I have shown signs of rejecting. What are they rejecting? This zone here. I don't know if you guys fully understand what I'm saying. So, Durban, um, so that is my two cents, guys. I don't know if you guys have any questions quickly i don't know if you guys have any quick questions that you want to ask um thank you for your two cents k please save the video remember durban we're having those classes i'm just waiting to host a po i mean to drop a poster there's so much more that i want to show you guys like you can literally just look at a candlestick and know where it's going to move for the first 15 days and the other 15 days of the month okay um and this is purely all done on a monthly candlestick you can comfortably hold your losses for a few days and then you can boom in profits and this is why whilst everyone is still selling that gbpsd i said this thing is gonna turn and buy and i'm telling you guys again nasdaq is gonna sell um and nasdaq is definitely gonna drop only for the monthly candlestick to give birth to that little um wood wick so Derwin, i am so excited these this is all going to be free it's a free class there's nothing attached to it you just definitely have to find your account and come let's trade together if you look at nasdaq now should this guy should this guy close below that level guys i am certain that we we, we still need to push up if we're gonna i mean we still need to push down if we do push up it's only because we're only gonna give uh, 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 we're going to retest a zone and that's definitely going to be the market giving existence to a wick on the monthly candlestick on the upside so um, I don't know if Kelsey when are you hosting in Durban I'll tell you guys all about it but I'm so excited um, I don't think there's anything as beautiful as being able to crack something new on the market you know and this is why I tell everyone, guys, the most important thing is to obviously lay your eyes on this thing. There's so many things that people cannot teach you that only your eyes can experience. So um, I obviously couldn't go too much into detail. But guys, it's been working. You know, it's working perfectly for me. It's not an indicator. It's all pure price action. And you can never go wrong with price action. You know, and this is why I always confidently say if it's news, the only responsibility it's got is for it to push the market to where it needs to be. You know, so I am so excited. Um, Durban, we really need to do this one. Um, there's nothing attached to it. I'll probably just put together PDFs for you guys so that when you are obviously at home, you can read, you know, practice. But I am so excited. Um, someone said, when are you hosting in Pretoria? I'm done with Pretoria. I'm done with Jobek. I've done that so many times. And there's a lot of people who actually slept on it. But there's one specific guy who called me from Durban, from Joburg to say, Galizzo, the class that you hosted in Sanson actually changed my life. I called everyone. I said to everyone, guys, this is a free class. I mean, all you have to do is to come learn. You know, and we actually had it for two days. So I don't know what I have for Durban. Um, it could be another three days. It could be another two days. I don't know. But I'm definitely not going to put a price to it. I just want to, it's so interesting for me. I literally just want to show you something that I've experienced in the market. I'm not going to lose anything. You know, I'm definitely going to experience something different in the market in, in months to come. This is why I always say, lay your eyes on that thing. Watch it. It's got so much information that you can never get from any mentor. This I was not taught by anyone. This was basically me just putting my eyes on the market. Yeah, well, 
so guys i can see people are saying he's like i'm fuzzy pretoria one last time i'm definitely not doing pretoria when are you coming to poch i'm not doing poch i had jobek ngeke ngeke devon i have to oh ngeke devon i have to be there guys and it, it it's, it's probably gonna run for a month this is me saying let me come show you you guys are definitely complicating this thing you're overthinking it you know um and i know most of it is caused by people constantly wanting to hop in and out of the market put your foot in the market be confident about what you're about to execute and hold that's the magic you know you just need to hold it you know you can now later add entries based on obviously what mark you're trying to hit but entries are literally the only thing re-entry sorry are just gonna help you reach that number you want to hit once you close all those profits but get comfortable with holding losses knowing that you're gonna obviously boom so please no no this pdf is literally just going to be accessible to the guys who are definitely going to join durban um guys i mean it when i say there is no price put to it i don't have anything to lose um i have a lot to gain remember the more i speak about it the more i practice it is the more i even get better at what i do you know so um i am so excited i just wanted to keep it short but you saw what i meant you cannot miss it with monthly um weeks monthly candle weeks you know i mean i literally not just predict weeks i will want to know why that week was given birth to and in most cases you will realize that this thing was already um also giving birth to a uh, to 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 giving birth to a zone that is not yet existent and then in a few months to come we will not come retest that zone so i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but i know i just literally just gave you a little bit but anyway um trade wise guys um we're not trading to be millionaires overnight you're trading to learn you're trading to experience you're trading to be good right and if there's one thing that i can also advise you on stop taking information from everyone sometimes the best information you can ever have access to is literally you just chilling on your bed put your laptop on 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 your side you know just look at those candlesticks grow ask yourself want to know why it turned there you know want to know why it's turning why it, it it gave birth to this candlestick want to know why it's not moving why is it slow on this day and i know in most cases it's not even fundamentals it's because there's a zone that nobody else can pick up that you'll probably definitely see on a monthly candlestick why did nasdaq i mean for the past i think two months people were having difficulties with trading comfortably um on the market and i said it even way before it happened i said guys the next two months are going to be so hard you know why people were not predicting those pullbacks if you had looked at it on anything aside from the monthly chart i promise you you would have not picked it up and i went on a live and i had countless debates with some of the really good guys um in forex you know and they said no it's going to i said it is buying but the only reason why this thing is buying is because it needs to retest the zone so guys i'm telling you again if you're in durban you're going to be typing like these Joburg guys. You're going to be like, oh, one last time. Joburg, we're done. I did it for two days. It was amazing. There's still people that get back to me to be like, hey, let's all. I changed. You know, um, it was different. So, Durban, I am so excited. Just don't even worry about saving. Just patiently wait for a date. Um, I have so much to share. Watch Nasdaq, guys. Watch this thing now. I said, if it closes below that zone we marked then i know we're just gonna if we don't if we if, if if the first few days bye i know it's only because we need to give existence to a week good luck i wish you all the best and i'm so 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 excited to share to you guys um what i've predicted anything that i'll ever experience i'll definitely speak about because remember the market is so broad there's definitely money for everyone what i share does not it does not hurt me i don't feel it so i wish you guys all the best and thank you so much for joining this live